I'm Rachel King, the executive pastry chef of Enlightened Hospitality Group. I'm at our flagship restaurant, Searsucker, here in downtown San Diego. And today I'd like to share with you how to ice a heart-shaped cake. So we're going to start with our nicely layered heart-shaped cake. Red velvet's perfect for this. What we've done is chill the cake beforehand so that when we're icing it, it's not wobbling everywhere. I have my room temperature buttercream. It's important that it's room temperature so that it smooths out easily and it does not tear the cake. I dyed it pink, whatever color you'd like, red, white, anything. Um, and so I'm gonna turn the cake towards me and I'm gonna start with the top. I have my large offset spatula. Right now we're starting with our crumb coat. So this crumb coat is in order to seal in the cake so it makes sure that there's a nice clean finish. This should be just a very thin layer. Okay, and I'm gonna have a little separate bowl in order to wipe off my spatula to catch any loose crumbs. So now I'm gonna go around the sides. Start at the back of the cake, and I'm gonna go to the point of the heart. This way it ensures that the sides are a little bit smoother. So you can always, at the end, if you get icing on your cake board, you can always transfer the cake once it's been chilled to a nice, beautiful cake stand, or you can put a border around it, which is um, nice to cover that up as well. So I'm gonna start on the other side. And again, this is the crumb coat, so don't worry about the crumbs. They won't show through at the end. So I've sealed in the sides and the top, and now I'm just gonna smooth everything out. Make sure this is super clean. So I go around, and it's nice because then I just, oops, I missed a spot. I just stopped there. And now I'm just gonna smooth out the top. This is our crumb coat. It's not necessarily pretty, but it does the job to keep the crumbs in place. So what we're gonna do now is chill this cake for 30 minutes until the frosting is hard, or at least firm. And then we're gonna add our second coat of icing and finish off our frosting. So our crumb coated cake is chilled for 30 minutes so the icing is nice and hard. And what we're gonna do is repeat the process but be a little bit more careful for it because this is what our guests are gonna see. So we're gonna start at the top. And as you can see, when I spread my frosting, it's nice and room temperature and light. I can't stress that enough how important that is. And I am going over the edge a little bit, but we're gonna clean up the sides, so that's no problem at all. Okay, so I have my top done. Now I'm gonna to wanna to start on my sides. Again, I'm gonna start on the inside and go to the outside. You don't want to be able to see any of the cake showing through, but you also don't want a super thick layer of icing. I'm going to cover the other side with icing and then I'm going to go through and smooth out the whole cake. So now everything is covered and I'm just going to go through and detail it. So starting at the back, I'm going to make the point of the heart and I'm going to slowly turn this to the point. Okay, and if you do have any extra icing on your board, clean it off. So we're going to do the other side. I'm going to start at the point and slowly turn. So now that my sides are smooth, I'm going to smooth out the top. So there is a little overhang from the sides. That's fine. I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to wipe off my spatula. And I'm gonna go in a crisscross motion. Cause that works with the curves of the heart. So we are all done. This is a simple frosting for our heart shaped cake. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Rachel King of Enlightened Hospitality Group. I've enjoyed showing you how to ice a heart shaped cake.